Uh, let's see. Okay, first and foremost, I guess... Let me see. Better for me to do that real quick. Just so this belt can actually output. Okay. What am I going to do with my level up? Honestly? Movement speed? 10% movement speed increase. Okay, cool. That's how much of these do I have. Cool. So... Not sure what the uh, the rate of making steel is. Okay, so it takes 16 seconds to make one of those. So in retrospect, let's just have an iron line. Oh, you know what? Why am I doing this? I might as well just make the steel down the main bus. Let's do that real quick. Okay. Oh! Wait, here's the bio farm! I thought this mod wasn't working. Alright. <laughs> uh, let's get the landfill, though. We're, we're gonna need that more than any anything else. Let's see. Hey! We are actually not burning nearly as much uh, green science. I know I'll want to stack it up more, but later. Okay, let's let's go up here. I have to kill me some buggers soon. I'm honestly just shocked they haven't tried to kill me yet. Where we at pollution-wise? I guess I'm not spreading it too much. Huh. All right. Hey, Alzareth. How's it going? How is life in your your end of the country? Probably miserably hot. Maybe miserably hot for us starting tomorrow. I I'm a little afraid. Any any time it gets like well into the 90s around here, I'm just kind of like it's kind of tempting to it's kind of tempting to just like take a break and just melt, just not even think of a thing. Let's see, do you recall what world gen settings you use? Pretty much default, up to the resource count, richness, and size. Because I'm a lazy man and I don't actually feel like hunting for it. I did reduce the amount of spawners. Because for whatever reason, the world gen kept putting a spawner right in the middle of every single, like, every single iron and copper mine around start. And it was just like, what do I do? I I don't know. I I couldn't I couldn't get one of the nests not to be like within spitting distance of start. And I was just like, I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna skip it. They just issued a sustained heat wave warning, so we're expecting over 100 degrees Fahrenheit until Wednesday. Ugh. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm very glad I have a house with air conditioning. Shell was uh, Shell will not. Uh, pass up an opportunity to, uh, I'm not going to say shame me for almost getting a house without AC, but there, there was a, there was a moment where we, we had signed the lease on a house and it had a lot of other issues, but, uh, it, it didn't have AC and I was just like, eh, it'll be fine. We'll get a swamp cooler. Yeah, Shell never saw it. It's entirely it's entirely my fault for for my goofins. She's just sitting here being like, mm. okay. You know what? Uh, let's build one filter inserter real quick. It was one of those where 
Okay, whitelist. We only want this. There we go. One of those houses that, like... Just have two stacks of this stuff. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, because we're, we're going to burn through this otherwise. And I want to be able to do science. I just want to have a little bit. Swamp coolers suck if it gets above 85. Huh. All right. Yeah, I... Uh, I was just kind of under the impression that it's like, yeah, Portland's cool, right? And the answer is actually, uh, yes, generally, it's it's quite a nice nice place temperature-wise. But wasn't cool enough, uh, especially now. But yeah, so when I was looking at the house originally uh, to to rent it. They had the windows open. I was like, all right, that's fine. You know, it seems fine, smells fine. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, and then we get there to move in, and the place has black mold, ants, dog scratches everywhere, and it's just like, well, I messed up. Now Shell's in charge of picking out houses, and I just pay for it. Okay. I'm just going to get kind of dirty with this instead of actually a good setup. Fine. Uh, let's see. Luckily, I've got tons of this. Maybe near the coast, they're better since it's humid there anyway. It's been fairly dry. Humidity never really seems to get above 30% around here. Oh, it gets up to 50? Okay. I just remember, like, I used to live in... Uh, Let's see. I used to live in Minnesota. Grew up there. Uh, that's where my whole family is, kind of. Oh, this is going to be painful. Well, alright, whatever. Let's see. I'll probably have a secondary set of steel. I mean, I'm probably going to need a lot of steel all over the place. Oops, you get out of here. Let's see, wonder if you started ammo production. Is two mags enough? No, I'm probably quite screwed if something comes to, to give me a nibble. Er, there, is a, there is a point where I said to myself, okay, we we are going to uh, stop stop uh, faffing around, you know, building efficiency and whatnot. And I'm going to work on making, like, a mega ammo, fa ammo factory. And then that didn't happen. At the very least, I, I should make ooh, utility vest. Not that great. I'll just put that there. There we go. Yeah, we we gotta actually give a shit. So what about guns? There it is. Guns! Well, that'll be quick. That's a, how's my power handling? Pretty good so far. My drain is fairly low. Part of it is I'm not using a massive number of mining drills this time because I've got the robo miners, which effectively means I am busted strong. Or busted strong. I'm busted power efficient compared to, you know, what a, a normal run would be for me. Because, yeah, I straight up just don't have to think about that generally massive power expenditure. Okay. Are yeah, there combat robots? There kind of are, but they're not... They're not great. 
It's not like, uh... It's not like StarCraft where you can have, like, an army. I wish you could. Okay. There we go. The rest in peace, Iron Plates. We'll see. This is a very long drain ish. I don't know. So it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. There we go. Um, hmm. Okay, that kind of is going to work. It's ugly. Every, everything I'm doing now is ugly. The spaghetti has begun. But... Now I can have one of these looting this place wholesale. Let's see. We only want one of those worth. Okay. There we go. Now I've got these. So now we can start making the better pulls. Okay. Oh, yeah. We are desperately going to need some iron production, though. Ooh, boy. Let's see. Looks like this is stacking up a little bit. No. All right. Cool. Military is finished. So... Probably maybe mess with bio farms. Uh, let's see, water. We could do water fills. I want to do solar. Logistics two for belts, but that's gonna take a while. Uh, let's let's keep working on a couple of these basics. All right, so I can make an SMG and we can make some basic firearms. Uh, let's see, what else do we have under military? Uh, not too much. There's dart turrets if I want to get kind of silly with stuff. Okay, so now I've got an SMG and a decent number of a decent amount of ammo. I can fight some stuff off. I should probably get some guns. Okay. I thought we had the air filtration mod, but I guess we don't. Let's see. Okay, so I've got I've got steel coming in. Let's go back up here. Let's grab the steel plates. Perfect. So now that now that I've got that, we can get medium electric pulse, which is part of the reason why I was kind of faffing around on iron, because I'll be able to get a lot more bang for my buck with the uh, the better pulse. Because now my kind of terrible... My kind of terribly spaced... Uh, let's see. Ow. And my terribly... Terribly spaced uh, wooden poles are now perfectly placed steel poles. Main problem is still figuring out how to jam all this junk together. I guess we just don't give a dang. And do that. Alright. I'm gonna need, need those. Gonna need more stone. Listening to these guys is the depths of madness, and I love it. Listen to them go. How are we doing? Ooh, we're actually depleting. I'm gonna have to increase those guys. Let's see. Radar application. Amplification. Dude, scans quickly. Might be a good idea to get heavier armor, but let's go for the radar.
Okay. Next up, shoots. This is still a wooden pole. This is still a wooden pole. So now we can expand this whole business heavily. Oh, are these not lined up? Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not acceptable. Uh, let's see, what was the thing with the assembler with the re recycling over it? It's a recycling... Uh, thing? I don't know. It recycles. About as self-explanatory as you can get. But so, for example, if you have like a bunch of burner inserters that you don't need anymore, you can just be like, hey, recycle this, and it'll be like, gotcha. Uh, let's see. Okay. Gotta get rid of that. We might want to almost have, like, two lines coming out of this. I wonder if that would actually help with backup. Alternatively, if I put it here... That'll be right smack dab in the middle. There we go. Then I'll get my belts. Uh, let's see. But first. Let's, uh, look. OCD fever dream. Simulator 2020. You gotta do it. Alright, there we go. That's... That's much nicer looking. I know I could also go kind of nuts with substations and some other stuff, but... Eh... That's not fun. Okay. Let's go, let's go grab my extra belts. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's stack that up. That might impact science for a little while, but I'm not doing a whole lot of science anyway. At least not green science. We should probably get automation to you sooner than later. Let's see. Back to this. Okay, so that should drastically increase our iron production for a while. And then we can move the other stuff over. Uh-oh. It has happened. It is finally time. Not the spot that I was expecting, though. The interesting thing is, they went for my robo-miners. I wasn't expecting they go for the robo miners. Like other stuff, yeah, maybe, sure, but robo miners? All right, whatever. I'll just replace uh, replace them quick. We're gonna need more i uh, more copper ones anyway. Here, uh, while we're here, let's get a uh, another radar. That, no, that's not it. So there must be a nest over here.
I don't think there's any immediate means of winning here. There we go. So we'll have to miss one here and there. That's fine. all of these getting loaded? Kind of. You can definitely tell I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to this. Mainly because I haven't needed to up until now. And I'm not, I'm still not entirely sure if, if I do. This should make it go a little bit faster. We'll have to get the actual mini loaders. Well, can I? I can. Oh, but I don't have the fast mini loaders yet. All right, whatever. Let's let's just go up. Let's grab what I can. Get this kind of set up. Because ideally what I'd like to do... Let's see, there's level 2 guns. Let's give me piercing rounds. That's an option. New crazy idea. Disregard walls. Water. Let's make a moat. I want, I want to make a moat that goes like up and around. So we have just kind of this long strip base. And one entry point that is Fort Knox. Because I could just block my entire base off. But that's boring. It would be kind of funny eventually to turn this into some kind of bizarro sea block. Where I literally flood the rest of the world. <laughs> Ah, yeah, moats then land landfills. Yeah, kind of. So we're gonna do that. I got a plan. This is this will work. Until then, let's make uh, a handful of gun turrets. Uh, let's see. Okay, how are you doing? Not great, actually. Never mind. I've got a lot of iron sitting around that I just didn't know about. Okay, let's make like a billion of these guys. And let's just absorb iron. Okay, so water fill is going to take... Eh, it's going to take a little while yet. We might want to expand the amount of labs we have. Actually, speaking of, are you full? You are full. Okay. Now let's massively increase the amount of iron, iron production we have here. Get him, boys. Probably actually start getting the upgrades that makes them uh, capable of working faster, but oh well. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm actually just going to rotate this entire thing. So this clears out, and then I'll, I'll grab the rest. Get rid of you. So next up... Let's 
make a couple of mini loaders. Oh, they require power. All right, that should that should be better. We're gonna need more mining boys. We have insufficient boys. It'll probably back up. Well, we got a hell of a demand. It might not back up. Uh, let's see, are the mining bots a mod or is that part of the 1.0 release? It's a mod. It is busted, busted strong too. Okay, now it's backing up. I think I'm still gonna go heavy on the boys and we'll just daisy chain. Like eventually this is gonna run out, but we've got at least one more iron mine elsewhere so I can just move it around. And then eventually we discover alchemy and then nothing matters anymore. Look at him go. It's so beautiful. Stupid, but beautiful. Oh, you know what? We don't need these chests anymore. Let's see. That way this stops being pulled as much. Didn't I make a bunch of disco spheres? I did. And yes, I did in fact call them disco spheres. Hey, water fill is done. Uh, let's see. Where's where's my mining boys? Here they are. Mining drone productivity. Start just getting some of the basics. Whoops. I knew something was wrong. There we go. Should be enough. Okay, Disco Tree is good. Still pretty full up on science. Let's see, I've still, yeah, I've still got, I've still got a decent number of Disco Tree candidates. We'll start with a Disco Diamond. Okay, it doesn't have the space between it. And then we'll expand accordingly. Let's see. There we go. That's a much more elegant disco tree. Okay. There we go. So that should massively up uptake our Our science production and yet we're still pretty full up that's nice okay so how do we make how to make a water fill we just need water how the hell do I just have oh made an assembly machine 
two and three. Ah. There's the rub. Okay, so I can't do that yet. I was kind of hoping I'd just walk up to the water and just glug. And we get everything we need. But mining productivity should do the trick. So next up we'll get uh we'll get it automation too. That won't even take that long. What about your tree farms? That will be that'll be the next ish step. Uh, let's see, how do we make landfills? Oh, it's just stone. Because I want to fill this in so we actually have some space. Alright, I now have not a lot. 